but to a peaceful village. Let's, you know what, uh, let's plant some trees. Maybe even some bushes. Uh, and how about, uh, how about some penguins? Everyone likes penguins. What? What are you doing? My poor, innocent penguins! You will answer for this. Have you ever wondered why in almost every World Box 4 Races Fight to the Death video, the Orcs almost always win, to the point that some World Box videos just straight up don't have the Orcs. But before I get into this, I should probably specify that this video will be split into two parts. The first part will be explaining why the Orcs are evil. The second will be why they are completely overpowered. Like, it, it is insane how OP these Orcs are. First up on the reasons why they are super evil. They kill everything. As you saw in the thumbnail, and about 10 seconds ago, they do in fact murder penguins. But it's not just penguins, no 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 no. They kill cats, dogs, and even rabbits. Well okay, that is completely fair. Rabbits are the best. I am Australian. Second reason why they are pure evil is they are savages. Like, quite literally, if you look at an average orc, you'll notice they have three default traits. Savage, Night Child, and Regeneration. I will talk about each of these. However, the one I want to focus on right now is the Savage trait, which makes it so you can get bones and leather from fallen foes. In my testing, it's, this extends to humans as well. Yes, that is right. They get leather from killing humans. I will let you imagine what an orc gathering leather from a human looks like. The orcs get a small advantage during night age, such as the age of dark. Now we all know nighttime is evil since when people drop the steel and steal to do crimes and stuff, they do it in nighttime. So therefore, the fact that orcs like nighttime means they are evil. If you look at their village names, some of them have the word easy in them. And as we all know, people who say easy all the time are just kinda toxic. Meaning that since orcs must say it on a daily basis since it is a part of their village name, they themselves must be toxic because of how much they say easy. Alright, I have now covered why the orcs are evil. However, the thing is, I don't actually mind the orcs being evil. I think it actually suits them quite well. And I don't actually want any of the stuff I mentioned earlier to be changed since it fits the orcs. However, some of the stuff I am about to mention is stuff that I would change, as I think it gives the orcs a, an unfair advantage over the other world orcs races. Alright, so I have covered the Orcs' Savage and Nightchild traits, which while they give them some advantages, they are not completely overpowered. You know what is overpowered though? Their Regeneration trait. And not for the reason you think. Yes, it regens the health over time, which it itself is overpowered, but here's the thing, I want you to focus on the plus 15 max age it gives to the Orcs. Let me explain. So if you look on the World Box wiki, 
it will say that he ought to have a max age of 50. Meaning that every year they live after 50, they have a small chance of dying. However, if you have played World Box and looked at an average orc, you might notice they are able to live well beyond 50 and almost into their 70s. Are they just slacky? Well, as it turns out, the regeneration trait that they all have actually makes it so their max age is really 65, as 50 plus 15 equals 65. For comparison, the max age of a human is apparently 70 according to the World Books Wiki, which means, on average, humans will live only 5 years longer than the nought, rather than the 20 years longer they are meant to live. This is really important, as the older a creature lives, the more levels and experience and powerful weapons they can gain, meaning the more damage and defense they can get, not to mention more powerful kings and leaders. When you think of orcs, what's come to mind? Barbarians, savages, Probably the last thing you would probably think of is a super genius. Well, guess what? Despite the way they are generally portrayed in fiction land, the orcs and world bots are just as intelligent as humans, meaning that they are able to develop tools, buildings, boats, and other technology just as fast as humans can. And this is on top of the fact they have much higher attack damage, attack speed, armor, defense, and not even, and not only that, even their diplomacy and administration is just as high as humans, meaning that on top of being top-notch warriors, they are also potentially ex expert diplomats. Somehow, I feel like that doesn't entirely fit the theme of the Orcs. Alright, you've seen me whine and whine about the Orcs. Now let's talk about what I would change about the Orcs in order to make them more balanced. First off, let's talk about what I won't change. 1. They can, they can keep their high damage and defense up, as I think it makes sense for the Orcs to be physically tough. 2. They can keep their Savage and Nightchild traits. Let's talk about some things I would change. One, remove their regeneration trait. Or make it so the regeneration trait itself doesn't give plus 15 years to their lifespan. There are other traits that a player can use to give units longer lifespans. Two, I would nerf their administration, diplomacy, and intelligence stats. Since it doesn't really make sense for Oort to be as smart as the other races. If this seems a bit extreme, you can buff their warfare stats if if you want, as it might make sense for the Oorts to be able to raise large armies. Now you might be thinking, but Sir Proud, won't the Oort having a nerfed administration stat mean that the Orcish realms will always be in a constant state of civil war? Yes. That is the point. If the Orcs are always fighting themselves, it means that they can't wipe out the entire map and immediately win, like how they do in almost every World Box 4 races video. Now yes, for this to work, it will mean rebellions will need to be on. However, due to the nerf diplomacy that I am proposing, it is more likely that the other races will team up to, in order to defeat the Orcs like how they did in Lord of the Rings. Besides, I think even if the Orcs still have an advantage above everyone else, it will still be nice seeing them having some more downsides. Currently, as it stands, Orcs are basically better humans that live for five years less.